Hey, beautiful. Papa. So, oh, look at that. So you're legitimately not gonna believe this. Check this out. Today we just bought another storage unit, not a little one either, a 10 by 10, it's completely full, floor to ceiling, side to side, front to the back, stuff everywhere. It's got its positives, it's got its negatives. We'll talk about that when we get there. But first, we have to go by the dump out here because, well, we got a lot of trash here. Let's get on the road, go to the dump, and then let's go to the unit. All these dump fees here are killing me, guys. Like, since I moved to Virginia, I've had to pay a whole nothing. I love it. <laughs> Let's get this unloaded. Here we are guys, look at this big boy. It's actually a very, very nice facility here. We paid $260 for it, and like I said before, it's a pretty packed 10 by 10. There's some crap in it, but I'll explain why we've got it in a second. Let's get in there. All right, so let me explain myself with this unit. You guys know usually if it has a mattress, I run the other direction. This one has five, so it's not Ooh. something I'd usually buy. But the thing is, the dump's 10 minutes from our house. This is smack in the middle, meaning it's five minutes from where we live and five minutes from the dump. Plus, right now, because of COVID, the dump's not charging anything. So I can get rid of all these mattresses, all this furniture for free and not pay anything to do it. And it's only five minutes away. So the way I look at it is I got a 10 by 10 full of stuff for only 260 bucks because people don't want to mess with the mattresses. They're free to get rid of. Why would you not dig it? Plus, we needed office chairs that are comfy. They're in there. I see more shelving units back there. We need those for the garage. And last time I saw this, even though it's not much this time, it was a good unit, right? If you see money at the front, it's usually a good sign. And it looks like a gold dollar in there, so maybe that means there's more money in the unit. Let's see what we got. All right, so let's just start pulling stuff from this side until things start crumbling, and we'll take our time and slow down. So, first thing is this bag, which I think is all clothes. If you don't like clothes, let's take a quick look and make sure we don't see anything like high-end jerseys or brand new, those aren't Converse, are they? Oh, they are, look at that. Brand new Converse with the tag right there. They only paid 27 bucks for them, but if they're both, yeah, they are, they're right here. Maybe I'll resell them for 20 bucks then. Easy, yeah, easy 20 bucks on Poshmark right there. By the way, guys, Poshmark and eBay's in the description. Poshmark is popping right now. It's got a lot <laughs> of stuff on there, I'm telling you. We've been we're doing really good in there. The rest of it though, I think they're clothes, and we'll look through these clothes and list, you know, anything decent, branded, worth it. We'll ball on Poshmark too, so there's that. Okay, this one's not closed. Let's see what's in here, though. Like, I'm gonna have to rip it. Ugh. Hercules, Hercules. It's a strong trash bag. <laughs> Where's these kind of bags at in the store when we get them? It's a tote, they have a whole tote in the trash bag. It's a broken tote. Let's see what's in here. Looks like a tote, like toys oh, almost. Is this a Freddy Krueger claw or a Wolverine or Wolverine. something? No, oh, Freddy Krueger's cooler than Wolverine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What'd you say? Woo! Don't play with me. <laughs> that is a Dark Vader. The mask. Vault. Ooh. <laughs> What do you think it is? Crown. <laughs> oh, Pokemon <laughs> cards. I'll take that. <laughs> what year are these from though? They're 2016. Money. So. And a quarter. We'll take that, don't put that in my pocket. <laughs> Pokemon cards are good, they're good. It's not a lot of them, but, and they're newer. There's a holographic one I see right there. I'll take those for sure. Set that right here. What else we got in this little thing? What is that? Is that a CD player? It looks like it should be one, but it's not. Um, well. <gasps> yes. I am the champion, guys. There's no way around it. <laughs> uh, well, cars, little toys, that. What does that say right there? Can you read that? Um, Ultra Amber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ultra. It's your final form. Ultra instinct. Get nothing in there. 
These are these one that's do the game Skylanders. called Skylanders. Ugh. Bottom of the dumpster all the time. All the time. Other than that, a couple toy guns. Like this. Breakaway shotgun. Think it's got anything in it? It's got a scope. I don't can you like point it at my body? No. Oh, okay. uh, so. nothing in it. <laughs> Couple cards and a couple toy guns in that bag, so nothing too great. But Pokemon cards, that's good stuff. Got a remote, so hopefully that means there'll be a nice TV in there somewhere. But really, I want to see what's in this thing right here. This looks like it's supposed to be a tackle box, but I don't think it is. Let's see. Oh, it's like paint, isn't it? Um, these are like piping tips for like cake decorating. Is that what this is? So it could be like ambient it could icing be, color. Yeah. yeah, it could be gel to put in this. It's a whole icing kit. Huh. Cool. Lift it up. Let's see what's under it. Then more stuff for it. Butter flavor. Yeah, piping bags, glitter. There's more of these um, little icing things. This is a whole icing kit. It's gotta cost a little something. I can't imagine something like that would be that cheap. Definitely something out of like 300 units first time I've seen anything like that, so that's cool. Guys, do you hear this? I touched this blanket and it started <laughs> making noise. Not gonna lie, that's a little sketchy, but. Uh, what is it? <laughs> no, something in there. Let me get this big monster. I'm a, it looks like a desk out right now. It's kind of annoyingly in the way. So. so it looks it's like just, it has glass pieces because there's suction yeah. cups there. So it's missing glass. Of all the glasses there, it's actually a pretty nice glass, it really. It has like nice little things that come up there. Yeah. So let's hope the glass is in there. Okay, this thing won't shut up, so we're gonna have to get it out of here. Let's throw the pillow out first. Whatever it is. Oh, look at this. It's like a Nerf freaking rifle. Uh-oh, think this one's got anything in it? No, <laughs> don't even in my face. Nah, uh, there's nothing <laughs> in it. How's it break down? I don't know how this one. Oh, it's got a pump. Now let's test it. Ready? No. Ah. Nothing. <laughs> what else is in this bag, though? It tense up so much. I don't know what's about to fly a out. A nerf of. gut. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I gotta prepare for the worst. All right. So this this is what I'm assuming is making that noise. No. Well, I was gonna blame the dinosaur, but it doesn't look like it's a dinosaur. It's this. That was just spitting. What is that? Like a satellite? <laughs> Maybe one like of those things we got at five below that like stays in the air or something. Yeah, it definitely flies. It's got propellers on it. So football, Spider-Man. Spider what is it? This. Oh. It's a tractor. This has to go over here. A little, there you a little dude in there. Keep doing Call work, dude. Tractor guy. <laughs> Uh, cloth. I'm seeing a few. There's a couple footballs in here, but they're either low in air and popped. I can't tell. A couple trucks, just like typical kids' toys. Nothing like overly expensive looking. You know, dinosaurs, trucks, Nerf guns. The typical stuff you would expect from like a five or six year old. So let's get this bag right on out of here. So right here, this looks like their Christmas decoration box. I'm seeing like ornaments and things like that. Open it up. Make sure nothing looks super fancy or anything. Some Christmas ornaments can be money. Like, let's take this out. It looks like just typical Christmas balls. They actually look personalized. Yeah. So, definitely no value to us. Plus, it's broken. <laughs> so, Christmas stuff just usually isn't. But if there's a time of the year to find it, it would be right now. It's the middle of December. So, if we're going to be able to sell it, it would be now. Some stockings or Santa hats. A stocking or something right? in it. Is it? Yeah. Glitter guns. What is it? Frosty. <laughs> let's see. This box, I'm going to assume... Is gonna have Christmas balls. Breakable. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's Christmas gonna have decorates. Christmas balls. Open. Oh, it's taped over here. That might help. That might be the reason. Let's see really quick. Uh, not Christmas balls, but like little ornaments and things like that. It's like a lotion bottle. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Little candles. They actually have a smell too. And yeah, there's more ornaments. Nothing cheap. I can see. I mean, nothing expensive. I can see a two dollar fifty cent price tag on one of those Christmas balls. So nothing there. This is another shoe box. Let's make sure it's nothing different. I'm gonna assume it's just more Christmas balls. Oh no, it's yes, Christmas like ornaments, presents, things like that. So let's just get the Christmas box right on out of here. So orange sheet thingy. 
Ooh, at least we have an Xbox controller. It looks like the Xbox One wired, maybe. Huh, mm -hmm. or one or 360. I never had a wired Xbox One controller, so I couldn't really tell you. All mine are wireless, but maybe that's an Xbox One controller, hopefully. If the system's in here, that's some good money still, even though the new ones just came out. South Park hats, <laughs> uh, just wants your stuff in there. It's gonna set this one aside. This says Christmas lights, but let's see if it really what it is. Yeah, it looks like Christmas stuff, all right. Nothing, all right. But look at the bottom. All Christmas lights. Nothing but Christmas lights in there. So let's just go ahead and get this pink toad right on out of the unit. Let's go up here, son. We got first a red bucket with that in it. Always gotta love red buckets with that in it, you know? This might be the drawer to the desk we just found. Oh boy. You got an ashtray mm. with cigarette butts in it. Mm. You know it's a good one. You keep that in your drawer. Classy, classy. <laughs> so let's hope that's the drawer. And this, oh, oh. Um, it says, what is that, O'Neal? Oh, put it up here. Why not? Put the dress over here. Fine. O'Neal. Looks like it says DIY to me. Do it yourself. That's what I get from it. Let's see. Looks like some bathroom stuff. Can you see it up here in the dresser? All right, so that's like the toilet brush holder. Beautiful. What's in here, though? Front bathroom stuff. Red and gray. What stuff? Let's see. Sounds like a rattly to me, so we got to see what that stuff is. Open. Ooh. Jewelry. Is it? I don't think so. I think there's oh, a shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. That's just Born. yeah bathroom stuff. Uh, what else is in here? There's the rug. Here's a little drain board. There's a little trash can, and yeah, it's pretty much what it says. So I guess we can assume so far that what their box label says have been correct. So uh, I wanted to get this out because I wanted a nice office chair. To use that computer and oh it's cozy too the ones we got when we first moved here were cheap and like they're at first they're like you know they did what they needed to do but now when we're editing for long periods of time they hurt it hurts <laughs> so this was one of the reasons i wanted the unit right here and it looks like we got office chair number two the six dollar ones from goodwill to start are not working yeah no they're done now they gotta go and this one ooh, there we go is that mine yeah right there Oh, uh, ah, good. A lot better. Yeah. There we go. That was one of the reasons we worth it. And the cheapest like office chairs I could find with cushions were like 70, 80 bucks a piece. So I was like, 260. If I pay 80 bucks a piece for that, that's 160. So I might as well pay 100 bucks to get a 10 by 10, right? Let's see what's in this random lunch bag. It doesn't feel really heavy. Some personalized pictures. More freaking Christmas balls. I'm getting really tired of the Christmas stuff already. Uh, a little bag. Is there something in there? Can't tell. There is a sock. All right, a sock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all it's in this thing. So let me go ahead and throw this aside to get up out my way. What do I go to next? Choose uh, something. The suitcase, but take that metal piece off. This? Yes. Looks like a mattress chopper, but we're going to see. Yeah, I mean, that's all I see in it, but it's it could in be the something way. under. It could be protecting something. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it. Why, why every suitcase we find is broken? I don't know. Look at this. It's already busted, so whatever. And yeah, it's a mattress topper. And nothing but a mattress topper. So this right here is trash. Get about my face. You want to see? Uh, I already see the C word on this tote, too. I'm not liking this unit. <laughs> Whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> Out of the bathroom thing, maybe? That's not real, but it got me for a second. Hmm. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't even know how I got there. Let's put it on this desk so you can see it better, Jeff. <sighs> Christmas, 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 Christmas all the way down. It says Christmas boxes and garland on it, so I guess we should have took their word for it. Since we're finding so much Christmas stuff, it's kind of put me in a Christmas mood, so I decided to get you a present from this unit. Okay. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, yay! Your favorite! It is my favorite. I love it. See, I'm not getting you nothing no more. I get you teddy bears, you sell them, I get you hangers, you break them. <laughs> uh, Sorry. We're going to talk right now. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry's not going to do it. Sorry's not going to do it. <sighs> Would have been better if I gave you a surge protector? Yeah. Okay. Here's a Christmas card. Your new name, 
Diego. No, <laughs> What's up, guys? It. I'm Diego. I'm Diego. Uh, nothing in there. Let's check the other one. Nothing in there. What about this one? <laughs> Come on, Diego. You had to leave one behind for us. I no. didn't. Uh, I told you I got the money out of my cars already. Come on. Ooh. I hate when I see protectors. I was hoping there'd be something in there. What else are we seeing down here? There's some change down there. Definitely some random change throughout this. Uh, I couldn't even solve this a little one. I'd break it too. <laughs> I hate those things. Um, what is that? A turtle. And colored pencils. That is just a joyful, highly valuable box. Yeah. This corner right here. Let's see what we got. This is close it. A hanger. Get out of my face hanger more clothes this looks like it's gonna be like a race car racetrack type thing maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe so. what's that is that an answering machine mm. no i think it plays discs no another nerf gun yeah. google home is it yeah. hey this thing if it works it's usually like 30 40 bucks on ebay i mean we gotta find the wire to it but if it mm. works 30 40 bucks these are speakers they might go to this this player, our TV player. What about these? You can rock these, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Rainbow. Yeah. And a Miami hat. So that could be the best value box. If the Google Home works, it's 40 bucks and CD player might have value just because it has nice speakers with it. So point that out at the beginning. It's like a couple dollars. I see a gold dollar and a few quarters. So that's probably like two or three dollars in there. That's one of the reasons I bid on it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Did you really think that a little bit of weight would be that much to counteract all that? It I wasn't just... stable to begin with. Well, sorry. Well, hold on, hold on. There it is. Okay, my psychic abilities are on now. You should be able to look at it and see it's not stable. Sorry, I'm sarcastic. <laughs> Let's see what's in the suitcase. Right here. Uh, it, it opens. What do you think it is? If it's Christmas decorations, I'm throwing it all not the way down the hallway at the wall. <laughs> not Christmas decorations. No. Oh. Hey, beautiful. Bop, bop. What do you think's in here? A ring. Is it? Something. Ooh, what is that? It's a earring with a freaking 1916 coin on it. George V. Del De... Uh -uh. Read that up close. I wonder if it's silver. I can't get it to focus. We'll do it when we get home. We have light. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that it's a nice. <laughs> I hate when I can't get the camera to focus on it. Well, I mean, it's dark. Oh, look what's underneath of it. That's just string, actually. Troll. But if that's silver, that could be worth a little bit of weight in silver. I'll put this in my pocket because it's kind of interesting. And we got this, 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 and whatever this purse. purse is. Nothing in it, though. Um, this one also. Nothing. No, there's something in it. Oh, the strap. They so look, it might be like I new. mean, they both look like new purses. Yeah, they could be, I mean, a little bit of money. Is there any brand in them? That doesn't look like it. No. Some rabbits. What about this one? Does this one have a brand? No. So, maybe like 10 bucks a piece just because they're new. And other than that, it really depends on that coin. The coin could be worth a lot of money. We don't know right now. Next box is right here. And I cannot even tell you what it says it looked like they wrote it in white out look at that yeah. <laughs> they literally wrote it in white out let's see that was definitely not a 20 minute intermission if i with the tape because we forgot the knife at home definitely did not just happen it happened so we got a pot that's wrapped up in plastic on the top part hmm it's metal so i don't think anything's breaking in there look at the bottom hmm nothing written on it but What's the top of it? Like this. Mm. <laughs> no, I see nothing. No. So a vase. There's a lot of stuff that could be valuable, just don't know. Like this one too. That one's clay. Ooh. Check that out. Interesting. So I don't know. These could be something that the owners made themselves, or this could be something done by somebody to somebody. You never know. You know what I mean. What is this? Candles, it looks like. Yeah, or candle holders. 
for this thing right here. I think this is like a big candle holder that goes on the wall. Yeah. So that. Uh, Toilet paper holder? Yeah, that. <laughs> More bathroom. This is heavy. What is that? Why do they wrap everything up in paper towel? That's a candle. Mm -hmm. We'll take it, actually. It looks like new. a scented one. Yeah. Oh, cool. Strawberry, whatever. Oh yeah, we're taking it. <laughs> Smells good, I like that one. Is there any more in there? I like candles. There's this, like a glittered rock or something. Okay. And not much else. Let's pull this little sucker out here. Well, what is that? Mm, no, no clue. Humidifier maybe? Maybe. Is that an anonymous oh, mask? <laughs> Remember this thing? Yes. I am anonymous. <laughs> I mean, I know it's from the movie originally, but it's kind of synonymous with anonymous. Ooh. Synonymous did you know I was a rapper? Anonymous. I did not. And I am a rapper now. It's kind of synonymous. Ooh, look at this with anonymous. Ooh, that's signed by a lot of people. Let's see if anybody <laughs> that's into sports recognizes any of these signatures, because this, for all I know, could be their high school team. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Not a clue. Nope. That could be a whole NFL team, or that could literally <laughs> be their high school team, and this box has jewelry in it. <laughs> Good transition. Let's see, I saw it. And a controller. Xbox 360. And there. a knife. Yes! Another knife. Now we have one to use Came today. Too late. What's this watch here? Geneva. Right. Look at this necklace. This looks like it could be silver. Check the clasp out. It looks real. What are we got here? Hold on, let me come out and light a little more. Yep, 925. Woohoo! That's silver. Silver! That's a pretty good weighted chain right there. That's gotta be like 40 bucks, I'd say, just on the weight, maybe. Cool. And scrap. What is this thingy? S. That means it's for me. Hold on. <laughs> what are these? They're all magnet balls. That's weird. Uh oh, I have something to play with. <laughs> nope, going back in the box. <laughs> And we have another watch here, which is a JYJM, it looks like it says. Alrighty. So let me look at this other watch too, make sure it doesn't say nothing about gold on it, and stainless steel, stainless steel. So it's probably stainless steel, probably not gonna be worth a whole lot, but the chain's cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Hat. The football could be valuable, I just don't know. <laughs> Raw. <Rawr. laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is, let's see, it looks like a bunch of artwork and stuff like that from school. Let's see what's in here, make sure it's just school work. Yeah, all school. And looks like it's gonna be all school too. So, you know what? I'm not gonna complain with that bag. That's the best thing, or box. That's the best one we've found so far. A couple of watches, Xbox controller, and probably $40 in scrap silver and a knife. I think we're getting closer to the back. This stuff's starting to get better this time. I think so. So I'm gonna try to pull out this black and white nightstand dressing thing, but it's not trying to fit through. There's stuff in the drawers. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see. Let's just turn it around. Then we'll stand it up the way it's supposed to go. Well, okay, top opens. opens at the top. Oh, uh, does it? Or did it just come right off? <laughs> I have no idea to be honest. I don't think it's supposed to open. No, I don't think I it's, think it's broken. <laughs> Very nice, beautiful, high quality version there. Yeah. Miami. This is Brandon. <laughs> Dolphin colors too. <laughs> um, bucks, bucks, bucks. Yeah. Let's see what's in the bottom drawer. That drawer now looks too promising. Let's see. Oh, open. Open. Why is it so hard? It's, I don't know. Jeez. I mean, it looks like this book. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cooperate. Got the drawer. It's all books and it's a couple DVDs. You see how nicely it cooperates when you use just a little bit of force with it? So I just took this blanket down from up here and it does look like there's a good amount of boxes here, which is something I'm happy about because when I bought it, I wasn't so sure. But I just figured it was so close, so take the risk. But let's see what's in this box here. Oh, guess what we got now? It says kitchen, but we'll check that. Where did I put that knife at? We got a knife now. Yep. Let's see. What do you think's in it? 
You better not be kitchen. Don't say kitchen. Don't say kitchen. Don't say kitchen. Been right thus far. Don't say kitchen. What do you think's in it? What do you think's in it? Um, golden jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. Sure. Mm. It's kitchen. You lied. <laughs> you lied. Um. Well, got a vase, a cup, whatever this is. Get, get out. Stop with the paper towels. Another cup. Uh. Yeah, it's just kitchen, unfortunately. Let's get it out the way. So I see this box of boots right here, and it feels like the right way. I'm begging you, can you be like newer in like new condition? Ooh, look at that. Are they even worn? No. I'd say no. And you know what else? They're steel toe. So that's money. I can bet you that's easy. 30 to 40 bucks right there. They're brand spanking new. I don't know what they cost new, but let's see if there's a price. I'm not seeing one anywhere, so I don't know. But I did work at Toyota for a little while, and I know that I heard a lot of people complain about the price of steel toe boots. So I'm going to assume they're worth a little bit of money. Now can we see how many boxes are here? Quite a few up here. Which one should I go for? Um, Probably move the plastic shelf and get the one on top. Well, that came with it. And we'll keep the shelves because we always need those. So let's get the white one right here and see what this is. I see like a VR set, it looks like. So a VR set and a box. It looks like it was some headphones at one point. Another card. Do we have money this time? Oh, oh. it's trolled me. What is that? It's a MasterCard thing. They got a MasterCard from Target. They took it out. How rude. <laughs> How are we supposed to use it if you take it out? Um, let's see. So interactive reader, it looks like a textbook. They could be money too, it just depends. Textbooks are legitimately the hardest hit and miss ever. No, Virginia oh, SOL. Gosh, I hate this. SOL. Gosh, I hate the SOL so bad. <laughs> gosh, there's such a stupid system. Like, it's so, I don't even want to get into the education system. It's really stupid. So, nothing in there but books, empty cards, and broken dreams. Now let's get the blue box. Party stuff. I think it's be party stuff. They've been pretty accurate. And it looks like party stuff. People are on point with their labeling so far today. That doesn't usually happen. Usually it's like party stuff and it's like a pan. And the next one says kitchen and it's like a toilet brush, a blanket, and half of a pillow. That's how it usually half works. Half a pillow. Yeah, half a one, not a whole one. Let's pull down this one and see what we got real quick. Oop. I found love in a box here. Thank you, I'll keep that. All right. Love lives here. Better not just keep it while it's on camera and then get rid of it. I'm serious. Don't just put it back in the box right when this clip ends. All right. Don't do it. All right. She's going to do it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool looking. It looks like something you find like a tattoo shop. Look, it's like string in the thing. Yeah, it is. Cool. It looks like a tattoo shop thing. That's cool. Speaking of that, I'm having that urge. You guys that have tattoos, you know you yes. just randomly get that urge. You just want that ink therapy. What is this? Look at the freaking paper it's wrapped in. They play with it or does it leak? What is it? A candle? It looks like a giant candle, doesn't it? It looks like a handmade candle. Yeah. It smells really good though. So we'll find something to put it in. Like this. Oh no, never mind. That's like an actual light. It looks like a melty thing. It might be. It might just be missing the tray, yeah. That's broken. Oop, I'm gonna I don't know that. Oh, sun. I hate the sun. I'm glad it's gone out here in California, Virginia. Ugh. Uh, personal pictures and the beach is my happy place, but it's broken, so. Not no more of it. Last thing in here, what's this? Another vase. That was a pretty random box. Let's box it up. So look, I just set this up here. I didn't think about turning it around, and I think Brandon will be happy with that. Yeah. I hate touching it, though, because I feel like I'm going to catch its infectious suckiness, but, <laughs> you know, some people got to like them somewhere. So let's actually, we're going to leave this out of the box, because we'll bring that home and give it to him. Pretty cool. So we got a little Amazon Prime box. It's taped up still. I don't even know if it is. Because it doesn't look like the Amazon tape's been broken. But it had to have been somewhere because it looks like there's stuff in it. Well, this is 50 bucks. Hmm. Zoomies. What is it? Cologne? Cuban necklace. Look. Oh, it's a watch. And it's in there. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty nice, actually. That'll be something we definitely set aside as well. I see another box like that, like Express. It's a brown watch. What's watch? people being obsessed with watches in these last two units we bought? So, oh, look at that. Oh. It's 
It's still ticking. So it probably hasn't been in here that long. I wouldn't think. No. There's more. These are candy canes. Candy canes. <laughs> what do you think's in that? Baby. <laughs> Nothing. Let's see if there's anything else in here really quick. Look, good vibes. Good vibes. What else is that? A lug. A seat. And... Should I open this? Yeah, it looks like one of those LED with signs. Yeah, let's cut it open and see what it is. So you're legitimately <laughs> not going to believe this. Check this out. That is a Glow Vegeta from Dragon Ball. That looks so cool. We have one like this at home with Goku we ordered a while ago. I don't, yeah. But this that's turn super on? cool. It Can doesn't need batteries. Oh, okay. And here's another one. That's an actual, like, look, it's a Dragon Ball. You see the star on it and it has Goku inside of it. The glows. That's crazy. That's crazy. These are definitely not being sold to so nobody <laughs> asks. These are going right on one of my shelves. Those are so nice. But now it gets me really excited about what can be in the other boxes. Because if they're willing to buy those, no telling what else they got. So check that out. The plug was actually in there. So we just plugged it into the wall right here. And look at that. It changes colors. That is super cool. These little two things right there. That's worth, worth it. <laughs> look at that. Cool. What is that? It's from the bottom. That's yeah, the no, bottom I'm like, is this supposed to be something? Uh, doesn't look like it. Huh, not sure. Either which way, that's pretty cool. Next box here, and let's see what this is really quick. Open. This guy's knife sucks. I need my knife back. <laughs> Completely forgot to bring it. I had it in my jeans pocket when I went home. Leather day from the lot, big unit. Forgot oh. to put it back in the truck. The leather day? Huh? The leather day? Is that what I said? Yeah. Oh, I'll stop bullying me. <laughs> Always. I love you. It's okay. But you still bully me every day, but guys. I don't know how to set up. Every, every relationship bullies each other. It's okay. All right. I'm going to bully you. Let me cut your finger. No, that's not bullying. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just more intense for No, it, it is not. What is that? Buttermilk pancake mix. Way these are these overrated. things that, like, everyone, you get those family members that you don't really care about, but they're still related to you, and you got to get them for Christmas. Something for Christmas so you don't feel bad. You get them, like, these things for, like, five bucks at, like, a discount clothes store. That's what you send them. Hey, Aunt Joe. Here you Aunt go. Aunt Joe, really? It's 2020. Shh. All right. um, <laughs> I mean, it could be like Aunt Joanne or something. What is that? A Keurig. A Keurig. These have been easy sales for us always. This is the case you keep bullying, right? I'm gonna have to go like 50s cartoon on you. And Do you guys see like his bullying versus mine? Hey, I'm just a victim <laughs> here. Uh, so we got a Keurig. And a pancake mix in there. Those are storage unit boxes. You just don't know what you're getting. Let's see what's in the next box. Uh, I don't like that I see this because they've been pretty accurate so far. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. They're finally uh -huh. wrong about one. <laughs> hey, look, Resident Evil 5 for Xbox 360 in there. Cool. That's in there. That's a lot of DVDs. Let's yeah, see. Four games. Ooh, look, Zombie Land's right here, too. What is that? Little Big Planet Day 1 edition? Nope. Well, never mind. Well, that. Blu-rays and PS4 look similar. You kind of got to look. That's under here. There's something under here. Is it? Looks like a wa oh. waist trimmer. Yeah. But this is a good movie right here. If you've <laughs> never seen it. Really good. And hey, look. There's the movie that we found a signed poster for the other one that I've never seen. Super Troopers. <laughs> but hey, we have a bunch of DVDs, so we'll be putting up together. Put, putting together. I can't talk right now. I'm excited because I found Dragon Ball stuff. <laughs> Putting together more DVD lots for the live auction. Again, guys, this Saturday, we killed it last Saturday. We had over 700 of you guys that showed up. This weekend, we're going to do it again. So let's keep pulling out boxes for now. So we're starting to hit that point where we have so much stuff out. We don't really know if it's going to fit. So we're going to take what we have right now, go load up the truck, and then see if we still have room. I think you're stuck in a hanger right here. That's what's causing you that. Wait. We have this whole cart right here. <laughs> See, that hanger came back to get you. I <laughs> waiting for you to come down here, and I'm gonna get you. Let's go take you to the truck and see if it fits. And this is how the real ones park their truck. No, not sideways so everybody can get by. You back it right up to the sidewalk, tailgate at the door. Let's see what we can fit in there. So everything's packed in. You can see it's pretty full. The chairs were kind of a little sticking out, but the net, it's not going nowhere. We're only five minutes from home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it home. We're gonna go through this stuff because there's a lot of little boxes that we might've missed and things like that. Price some things. I'm gonna put the football in a sports memorabilia group and see if they give me some information on who the signatures are. And then when we're done with all that, 
we'll come back and do the recap and show you what we could have missed. See you then. Before we talk about any of the other cool stuff in this unit, I gotta tell you about the coolest thing I figured out so far from the start of this unit. It's pretty cool, check this out. So as we stated, we're gonna put this football in a sports memorabilia group. A lot of people that buy and sell autographs on a regular have a better chance of recognizing them than we do. And actually, I thought this was gonna end up being like a high school ball. But this ball is actually signed by the 2015 Buffalo Bills players. So number five, where's that one at right here? Is I think it's pronounced Tyrod Taylor. Number 41 over here is Sierra Wood. Number 61, where's that at right here? Is Gabe Ickerd or Iker? I don't know how to pronounce it. Number 48 over here, Marcus Gray or Marquise or Marcus, not sure, Gray. Then number 38, I guess that one's up here, is Dan Herod. So yeah, it was pretty easy people in the group to find the signatures. I would have had never had any idea what I'm looking at, but apparently we have a football signed by five professional NFL players, which is just a little bit better than somebody's high school ball. Now let's get to the rest of the stuff. I also got a lot more information on our little coin here. Now that we're home, you can see that it says 1916, and that's the front of it. You can actually see it because we have actual light. So we found out that this is a penny from 1916. It's actually from the UK. And doesn't really state, the few websites I checked doesn't really state a value, but I saw somebody selling a lot of these. I think like five of them for 30 some bucks. So I'm gonna assume it's not really that much money, but it's minted by the Royal Mint apparently. And there was 86 million of them made. So I'm gonna assume they're not that rare. But that's what it's supposed to look like in the front right there, which ours does. Our back is a little bit more faded. You see, that's what it's supposed to look like. But then ours is kind of like, you could tell that it's the same design, but it's faded away from probably being worn as an earring. So that's the coin. So the little tiny thin necklace that I thought was fake in the video, like an idiot, just because it popped up, is actually 10 karat gold, but it's actually so thin and tiny that when I put it on the scale, it doesn't even register as a whole gram. And it's plus it's only 10 carats, so it's not gonna be too particularly valuable, but it is gold technically, so we did find gold already. This is 100% 925 sterling silver. It's just under two ounces, so if we were to scrap it, it'd be around 40 bucks, but because it's a complete chain and neither of the clasps are busted, look at that, I mean, it's definitely wearable right now. It's gonna be worth definitely more than scrap value, so. I'm gonna guess that's probably at least 50 bucks if we sell it cheap, but I could probably get more for it just because it's silver and it's complete. So once again, we got watches. I don't know what it is lately with watches. So check this one up out up close now. It looks like it says like YM, YJM, or Y, something like that. I don't know. This is the one that could potentially be value, valuable, not value, that didn't make no sense. It says Geneva, but I think the ones that are worth money are Geneva, like the end with the E and not an A. Plus, you can see this one's in kind of a rough shape, but if somebody wants to repair it, it's definitely repairable. The best condition watch we've gotten though is this Express one here, because I don't think it's ever been taken out. It's still ticking and everything, and the time is actually right. It's about, what, 9, 10 p.m. right now, so it's actually right in the band and everything. Looks like it's never been touched, so I'm gonna assume it probably went gotten as a gift and went right into storage because I don't think they've ever worn it. This other box here definitely is the wrong thing that's in there. This is the other watch. It said it's supposed to be a micro Cuban necklace or whatever that is right there. But in reality, it's just that other watch, which yeah, it's not a Cuban necklace. It's, oops, this watch right here. So, not too sure on the value of this stuff yet. I literally just finished editing it, but pretty psyched about the football and the necklace. So check the Goku ball out right there. It's gonna be sitting right next to our TV. If you can't tell, kind of, you know, little bit of a Dragon Ball fan, just saying, just a little bit. And look at the lights. It puts seven lights on there that change constantly, which is pretty freaking cool. And the other one over here. There's the Vegeta one who's gonna be staying right there. So like we said, those two guys are staying right in our house. All right, now that we're in the garage, let's go do some of the stuff you didn't see. There's not very much though. Pretty much what you saw is what all there was, but this little orange bag, I think I flipped through it and just kind of tossed it aside, but inside of it 
it was actually some change not a whole lot but you know a dollar maybe two dollars something like that worth the change here's the pots with the wrapper off of them so you can get a better look at them if anybody has any type of information on these i don't even know how to go about looking them up you know what i mean clay looking metal pot black pot with design on it I, I have no idea how you even go about looking those up so you missed a little tablet here so there's a tablet and there was a car like other a die than that, car. yeah it's metal i mean it's not plastic or nothing yeah. but a car other than that everything that you saw is what you got but keep in mind guys we're only a little bit into the unit. We got a lot more to go. We'll be back in it tomorrow. So make sure you come back to see what else because this one does seem to be following the rules. As we get further back, the stuff is getting even better. So again, be back tomorrow. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out.